Now, on a sad note here in Accra, where at least four people, including a pregnant woman, have died and several others injured in a road crash involving multiple vehicles at Ablikuma here in Accra. About four vehicles were involved in the crash. The first car, a Toyota Salon vehicle, somersaulted and veered into the opposite lane after its tire got burst. Eyewitnesses say a driver of the Toyota vehicle, which was moving at top speed, fled the scene immediately to avoid being accosted by the residents there. Listen to some of them. We'll be bringing you an update on, on this in our subsequent bulletins. But meanwhile, we are joining us, continue to remind our viewers to stay safe on the roads this Christmas. On our Drive Safe campaign today, we bring you a set of our interview with David Adonting, who is in charge of planning and programming at the National Road Safety Authority. Fatigue driving. is a silent killer. It is. I believe you drive. Yeah. You have sat behind steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt like sleeping? Yes. It happens. It, it does. It, because we are human it, it's beings. It's just within just seconds. seconds. And if you are not careful... And it happens. We always say that the sleepless will steal you. Yeah. It will take you off. Exactly. Within seconds, you are dreaming. Exactly. That's the day dreaming. Yeah. And it happens to our commercial vehicle drivers, mm -hmm. especially if you don't rest. Mm -hmm. I want to use this opportunity to educate all of us that fatigue is a silent killer and the vaccine for fatigue is resting. Resting. Have enough rest. Yeah. In the night. Mm -hmm. Especially if you know you hit the road running uh, on, on, on commercial base or even on private mm -hmm. when you know you're traveling. Okay. Even within the city. Okay. The best thing for you to do is have a good rest. Yeah. Now, behind the steering wheel, whilst you are moving, I said we are saying that minimize your speed. Go within the speed limits. Now, why is on the way? If you feel like you, uh, you want to sleep or you're tired, it, there are signals that should show you that you are tired. Mm -hmm. You begin to blink your eyes. Mm -hmm. and you feel very uncomfortable within, uh, uh, yep. behind the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, you find the whole body, you know, a, a kind of uh, uh, gone beyond your, your capacity. Mm. What do you need to do? Get a very safe place, a rest stop somewhere, yeah. park your vehicle, Rest for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes is too much. Well? Do you know 10 minutes sleep, what it can do to you? Great. 30 minutes is too much. Good. So I have even gone far. But in case, within between 10 to 30 minutes, can do you a lot of good. Yeah. You drop. We are not saying that uh, for, for, for the rest of the... No, you drop, come down, do some stretching, yeah. get some water to wash your face mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. If you have some coke or something, but not... Energy drink, yeah. not energy drink. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we get deceived yeah. that when you take energy drink, and to be honest, you have a lot of drivers who buy this in packs in their <laughs> vehicles. And as they go, they keep drinking. For thinking that the, the energy drink is their savior. Yeah. No, it will deceive you. Yeah. What you need is proper resting. Yeah. Again, if you drop somewhere and you want to rest, don't go eating heavy meal. Yeah. If you take in heavy meal, Within 30 minutes, as you start driving again, you, you go off, off again. Mm -hmm. we, 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 uh, we have issued an instruction to the transport operators that long journeys from 500 kilometers or eight hours drive, let us use two drivers. Yeah. One will drive half of the journey and the other one will continue. Mm -hmm. We have found a couple of them complying, but some of them are not. These are signals and, and, and vaccines we can give to you this period. Mm -hmm. Fatigue is indeed a killer. Mm -hmm. It is something that if you joke with it, it can take your life and the lives of others so easily. Mm -hmm. So we should take it seriously. Unfortunately, when we go to the lorry parks and the lorry terminals, to be honest, you find a lot of people at the, at the terminal. People want to travel mm -hmm. and they, they are so excited to go and, and have fun during Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so, they do not care, mind so much. Their hope and confidence is that they have a certain driver, a certain transport operator that can take them. Mm. But unfortunately, you wouldn't know what the driver may be going through at the yeah. time. Mm. So we're saying passengers, when you also sit in a vehicle under the Stay Alive campaign, you play a role. Well, you may want to pray. You may want to do the sign of cross. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. But watch the driver. Yeah. Keep watching him. Mm -hmm. Usually, before a crash occurs, you will see signals. He may be speeding. He may be doing some wrongful overtaking somehow. Yeah. All these ones, and you can also find him very jittery, yeah. sitting behind the steering wheel. Sometimes he gets himself involved in a certain conversation that may not be needed mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. All these signs, we are saying that draw his attention to, advise him. 
don't go and fight. Where it is necessary, you think you can drop. If he doesn't heed to your advice, yeah. please drop. Yeah. It is safer. Use yeah. another vehicle to continue. Mm -hmm. If you look into our statistics, apart from driving fast, in which case we can relate it to overspeeding and the rest, the highest on our list is inattentiveness, okay. constituting more than 40, 45 percent. Mm. Inattentiveness. Inattentiveness could be read to mean distraction or doing something outside the requirements of your driving task. We're going to speak with Cecil Garber, who is a transport consultant. He joins us via Zoom. For more, I'm grateful for your time, Mr. Garber. It's pretty bad. All the education and creation of awareness is not yielding the needed results. Just today, a day to Christmas, four people have lost their lives. Well, they had the opportunity to leave if only we were a bit careful on the road. Why are we still seeing high numbers on our roads despite the massive campaign? Um, thank you so much, uh, Marisha. All right. Um, that, definitely, this is a time for many more accidents to happen, whether we like it or not. Um, uh, there's no spell that has been cast on anybody as, uh, as we are talking. It's Christmas time. People are in a hurry. Everybody wants to um, go to town or maybe grab something and come back. But the issue at stake is uh, road safety. Um, you would realize that there's congestion everywhere. It is not by magic. There are people in town. There are other people. My late mom will say there are ghosts also in town. You know, uh, everybody has come to town to just uh, shop and go. But on a serious note, it is hurriedness. Okay, people are in a hurry, and people don't have any respect for the traffic regulations. You find people driving um, of, on the shoulder of the roads, and um, it, it's because they are they are in a hurry. Now, for those who are, are traveling, for instance, I always give a clue: just go around the vehicle itself uh, that you visited in and find out whether. It has one out ties. If, if it has one out ties, I mean, just campaign. Everyone should come out from this vehicle because um, you are really going to kill the rest of, of, uh, of, of them seated in the vehicle. Right. So um, at this very moment, just like uh, Mr. Adontin mentioned, is the issue of use of phones, distractions. Drivers must adhere to simple regulations. And I'll say that. Um, at this particular time, all drivers must just wear their coats, okay? They should wear their coats to drive. The coats that I'm talking about is not the physical coat, but it's abbreviation C-O-A-T, concentration, observation, alertness, and tolerance. Everybody needs it, and everybody who drives needs it. Your concentration level, of course, must be very high. Stop talking on the mobile phone. Distractions, distractions. People will be driving and they'll have phone calls at this very moment. Maybe they are, they'll be talking about uh, picking sheep, picking uh, you know, goats, and so on. Uh, where are you standing? And so on. That alone can, can kill you as a driver. Um, so wear your coats. Uh, your concentration level must be extra, extra high. You need to observe all the traffic regulations. Don't leave any of them and say, oh, um, I'm taking them for granted. I mean, you should study the road markings and then road signs. The road markings, that, is, um, that has a very long and thick line. They're saying, do not overtake. So don't try to overtake. If it's broken lines, you may overtake at the right time. So concentration, observation, alertness. People must be alert. I always say at this period in time, if you have 10 drivers and you are the 10th um, driver, you should know that about six of them around you are not driving with their correct senses. In fact, I borrowed the word to say that they are mad drivers. Being mad doesn't mean that you have removed your clothes and walking down the street. <laughs> but again, it's an issue where you are seated behind the steering wheel and you are doing wrong things. Driving at this uh, time or any time means that you are controlling a full equipment and therefore your concentration must be so high. You must observe the rules. You must be very alert and you must tolerate other people so that you will uh, avoid road rage at this particular time. Road rage is so high as I'm talking. There are people so angry. Somebody has crossed them. Look, allow those, uh, uh, you know, mad drivers to also 
um, go. But then we are asking the MTTV, um, I'm asking uh, Dr. Sasu uh, Mesa and his men that this is the opportunity for us to make money for the government by arresting all the recalcitrant drivers. All those stubborn drivers who are failing to do the right thing. We need police presses. The cameras are working. Let's get them arrested. And I, I do believe that um, um, accident rate that is uh, quite high will reduce this Christmas. We need to be so alert. So remember, let's all wear our coats and we'll still be able to arrive alive in one piece and not in pieces. Your family needs you. Um, Ghana needs you. Everybody needs you. Let's all try as much as possible to drive so well so we can enter the year 2022 with a lot of peace and love for one another. Mr. Gaba, we've been talking about rickety vehicles that always find their way uh, on our roads. And uh, today's accident, for instance, could have been uh, averted if somebody had checked their worn out tires. But it didn't happen. What do you want to see as we enter 2022 with rickety vehicles still finding their way on our roads? I think for the first thing, we should be our, our brother's keeper. And uh, Ghanaians must learn road safety. It shouldn't be always getting the national road safety or the MTTD involved. We should all have um, um, that road safety attitude to know that, look, this vehicle is bad. Don't go and sit inside. Let us all patronize the good ones. Let us say no to uh, such rickety vehicles. And then also to the national road safety authority. We need a serious transport audit. And when I mean transport audit, it should cut across all bus terminals. Uh, do they have um, um, roadworthy certificate? If even they have a roadworthy certificate, uh, we should find out whether it is uh, authentic. Others are printing. We need transport audits to, uh, transport audit to find out whether the vehicles are really the true vehicles that we we'll see. And it shouldn't be a case where you see the vehicle and then my grandma will say this is pentinamento, which means that um, um, outside, the outside looks fine, but the inside, that's you're talking about uh, the seats, you're talking about the vehicle's engine and so on, looks so rickety. Right, so let us all not patronize. We shouldn't rely on the... Uh, but whose role, uh, Mr. Garba, whose role is it to check these vehicles so we don't find them on our roads uh, in the first well, place? Of, of course, uh, the whole issue comes with enforcement. But then here we are where um, people are dodging traffic, people, um, even passengers themselves are assisting those drivers uh, to say that oh, don't pass here. The police is around. It's an enforcement issue, and I do believe that come 2022, with um, all the cameras available, with the police presence, we will go to arrest the situation. And then also, I am um, also not too happy with some of the uh, fines that uh, the courts are giving to the drivers. For instance, 250 penalty units is about uh, 1,800 cities or so. Somebody can just pay this amount and continue to say that tomorrow uh, I'll do it again. And when they take me to court, uh, 1,800 cities um, uh, can be paid, right? Uh, we need to look at these punitive measures as well and make it much more expensive for people to suffer to pay. Yes, uh, I remember some few years ago we had it and then I think it's been reviewed. But um, overall, it is an enforcement agency um, work and um, enforcement, I'm talking about the Ghana Please, the DVLA most especially, right? It should be a tax force. The tax force must be working now that um, um, we should be able to set them up on every corner to arrest the situation. Drivers, like you know, are very recalcitrant, whether we like it or not. I mean, they know it is bad, but they'll say, oh, please, it's not around, so let me just do one or two trips. And one or two trips can end up killing people, right? We want to see the year 2022 with a reduced accident rate. And I predict that in the year 2022, Nasha Road Safety Authority is, is listening to me. I don't think we'll have not more than 200 deaths. I mean, the usual thing is 2,000 and over. This year, I know it's about 3,000. But let's be our brother's keeper 
uh, that we all must contribute to this, whether you are a child, whether you are uh, an adult, it's time for us to talk about road safety. And I also urge the, uh, the radio stations, TV stations, I'm talking about the press, let us dedicate a lot of time, um, like uh, multimedia is doing to talk about road safety. And I, I am I'm quite happy with multimedia that you are always on top when it comes to road safety. Let us continue. Let's urge the other sister stations to do the same thing. They should emulate that, um, you know, good example that you have set up. So that we talk about it, because after all, 99% of um, goods and services in this country is transported on the road. So we are all using it, and um, therefore we should be our brother's keeper. I'm grateful for your time, uh, Mr. Cecil Gabra.